go-to pieces to wear to church, okay? This, this video is for you. This video is for you. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. For anyone new here, my name is Alana, and today's video I am gonna be showing you some outfits that I have been wearing to church recently, in the hopes that that will give you inspiration on what you can wear to church. And guys, the reason why I'm making this video is over the past year, I've started going to church again, and I really, really struggled to understand what was appropriate, what was not appropriate, like just the type of outfits that I felt comfortable in. This is kind of gonna be like a bit of like a capsule wardrobe for church outfits. A church capsule wardrobe. <gasps> I love it. Church capsule classics. No, it doesn't really work. Okay, a church capsule wardrobe. Okay, because these are all pieces that are really plain, simple, sophisticated, timeless and versatile, okay? These are all go-to pieces that you can chop and change and switch around. So you really only have like maybe 10 items, but you can like mix and match them together so that it looks like you've got loads of different outfits. So yeah, this, this video is like just really like dawning on me. I'm like, this is so perfect. Like if you need go-to pieces to work to church, okay, this, this video is for you. This video is for you. And I will make sure that I link in the description the exact items that I am wearing in this video. But some of the items, these are all items that are in my wardrobe. You know, I've had them over the past three to six months and I've been wearing them all so, so much. But if any of the items are sold out, I will make sure I link some really good alternatives that are similar. But guys, before I get into this video, I imagine that I'm probably gonna have a lot of people who have never watched my channel before watch this video. And I just wanna give you a really quick synopsis on the type of person I am in terms of fashion. I am someone that in my 20s, my early to mid 20s, I would buy anything and everything. I always kept up with the trends. I was obsessed with fast fashion. I felt like, oh, the more I get for my money, the better, as opposed to the better quality, the better. Like that wasn't my way of thinking whenever I was younger. And I feel like a lot of people go through that transition, but now that I am definitely a bit older, I'm in my 30s now, I'm definitely a lot more of a conscious buyer. So now I have like this like little mental like tick box whenever I'm buying something, I'm like, okay, is this a fast fashion piece or is this gonna be in style in two, three, four, five, ten 10 years time? Um, is this something that's gonna be good quality and that regardless of how many times I wear it, it is gonna be in my wardrobe for a long time? And is this something that is gonna be super versatile with the other things that I currently have in my wardrobe? And if it ticks all three of those boxes, and I like it, then I'm buying it. Okay guys, the first outfit consists of this gorgeous blue and white striped shirt from Lily Silk. This is a silk shirt and honestly, it is so luxurious on your skin. I got this a couple of months ago and I have already worn it so much. And I have paired it with this little white brodeer midi skirt that I got from Zara at the start of the summer. And again, I wore it so much. It's quite like a thick material and it's underlined. So it's actually perfect like coming into this transitional weather because it still keeps you a little bit warm. Um, and I've paired it with some brown accessories to elevate the look. I feel so comfortable this outfit and so chic. And both of these items are so versatile. The skirt and the top, you can pair a million different ways with a million different things. So such great staples to have in your wardrobe. This next outfit is a little bit more leaning into the autumn season. This is a gorgeous striped turtleneck jumper from H&M and I actually only recently purchased this probably about a week ago. That's because last year this came out on H&M and literally sold out like that and I was so gutted. So I thought, I know it's still summer, but I'm buying that because I know come autumn, September 1st, that is gonna be sold out. It's got these beautiful big bell sleeves and I know I will just wear this so much during autumn winter and I have paired it with this gorgeous black silk skirt also from Lily Silk. Again, I got this a few months ago and I have worn it so much. I've worn this so many times to church so many different ways and again because it's a midi length it covers me up quite a bit and I just feel really comfortable in it. It does have a little slit up the leg but because it's like so much to the side you don't ever really notice it and I have paired this with some black knee high leather boots. I wore these so much during autumn winter and I wore them so much to church um, last autumn winter. They just look so good with everything. 
Okay guys, this next look is a little boob tube maxi dress. I actually don't know what the material is on this, but it honestly feels so beautiful on your skin. It's just really light and airy. And I've worn this quite a few times and I always seem to go for my Birkenstocks. I wear the Birkenstocks with the little, like silver buckle on it because it just looks a little bit more dressy. And I don't know what your church is like, but with my church, like people do dress quite casual and lots of people wear Birkenstocks and open toe shoes. But I've just thrown on a little white linen shirt over the top of this. I actually wore this outfit about three Sundays ago and I just felt really comfortable in it. And this shirt, honestly guys, I got this a month ago and I have not stopped wearing it. I think I wore it every other day. It just goes with so much and the linen material is so good. It's from Abercrombie. Okay so guys this is kind of more the summer look for the kind of more autumn look. I've actually paired this with a little H&M cardigan. It's a little cream cardigan and again I feel like adding the more light colors over the top because the dress is darker just kind of lifts it a little bit. This cardigan is so comfy. It's just so cozy. It feels really really soft and this is going to be such a great church outfit now whenever we start coming into the slightly colder weather. This next outfit is definitely more of a autumnal winter outfit and it's this gorgeous little sleeveless knitted jumper with some high waisted black trousers. I have wore these trousers so much, I mean just in general and I've wore them plenty of times to church because they just look like a little bit dressy but I'll always try and pair it with something a little bit more casual and I think that's the key with church is finding outfits that are smart casual. Like I don't like looking super smart, I don't like looking super casual so I just try and like mix and match items that are maybe more smarter with more casual pieces and vice versa and I feel like this is like the perfect combination. I have paired it with this gorgeous coat that I actually just recently got from H&M. Again I feel like any good things that H&M get in over the autumn season just sell out like wildfire so I bought this a few weeks ago and even though I haven't had the chance to wear this yet this is going to be a great coat to wear to church and just in general over the colder months I just feel like it looks so expensive it really is like that like kind of like old money look and I've just paired this with some little white trainers these trainers actually like I haven't spoke about these in a YouTube video before they need a moment these trainers are from Hush Puppy you just like associate Hush Puppies with like a like a granny brand or like your school shoes where you get them from but me and Josh did a shoot for them last year and they gave us some shoes that we wore in the shoot that we could take home with us and I took these trainers home and oh oh my goodness it is like walking on clouds they are the most comfortable trainers like I try and wear those almost every day. Like I'm like, I'm picking an outfit that's gonna go with the Hush Puppies because they are so, so comfortable. But how cute is this outfit? Like I just feel really, really chic in this outfit. And yeah, I mean like all these pieces, when are these pieces ever gonna go out of style? None of these pieces are gonna go out of style, okay guys? Okay. Okay, I am a sucker for an all white outfit and I just like, I love this outfit so much. I have wore this so much over this summer. It is the white linen shirt from Abercrombie and this is also a white linen midi skirt also from Abercrombie. Does have a little split up the leg and I have paired this with some little tan accessories just to elevate the look and make it look a little bit more dressier and um, a little bit more like expensive. It's a fabulous church outfit because it is so comfortable. You know whenever you wear an outfit and you can't wait to get it off and you just wanna get home in your comfy face, you see over in this channel, you are never gonna find an outfit that I recommend that's one of those outfits because I cannot stand being uncomfortable in an outfit. I mean, you can't get much better looking really chic, really sophisticated, and also really comfortable. Like that just doesn't really happen. It just, it doesn't, okay? I actually paired this skirt to church one Sunday with a little black jumper and those black leather knee high boots with the white skirt and that also looks so good. So again, all these items, I'm sure you are sick of hearing the words versatile and timeless and all that, but that's what they are, okay? All of these items are that. Okay guys, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you find some inspiration to maybe invest in some pieces that you know are going to be like your go-tos and please comment below and let me know if you would like another video like this and um, maybe coming more into the autumn winter this is kind of like a summer autumn transitional one if you want like an autumn winter one because I do know that I will probably add in a few more pieces now that we come into the colder weather into my church wardrobe so let me know if you
you would like to see that in the comment section below. Um, and hit subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.